Hi, Peter Howlett here. Kelly McCann sent in a support ticket asking us whether we could create these particular templates in ProSelect. Well the answer is yes Kelly and here's how you do it. What we're going to do is use a combination of templates and styles to create the final template. We use the templates to control the openings and the styles to control the colours and the borders. The little trick here is we need to apply this white line or this coloured border around all of the openings and we're going to use a graphics bot to do that. So let's go into the template editor. I'm in the assorted composites tab, that's fine. I'm going to add a new template. We'll make it a composite type. You could make the template to an exact size and use the fixed size option or as I'm going to do in this case I'm just going to make it to uh, a nominal size so it can be scaled to any size I like. So I'll make it a 20 by 20 mat size to get started with and we'll make our first opening say 4 by 4 to make everything easier, I'm going to set the grid size to 1 inch. And now here's my first opening. We're going to need 9 of these, so let's just create the 9 by adding it 9 times. And I'm just going to rearrange it on here. Having the grid set up to be 1 inch actually makes this really, really easy. Oops. Grab it in the middle. Okay. Now we need to make the graphics block for our other border. Just create a new opening. Drag that like so. Move it to the back. And turn it into a graphics block. Now if we want to have a border applied to a graphics block when we're using styles, make sure that you uncheck the no styles box down here or else there won't be any borders applied. And finally let's just remove the excess amount of mat around the back. So we'll just bring this around back to one inch. And there we have it. So we'll call it 9 up uh, special. And we'll save that. And there it is. Now let's create the styles that we're going to use with this template. Edit styles under the template menu. I'll select the composite group, not really necessary but that's where I'm going to keep them all. Add a new style, we'll call it 9up um, special black. Now we want the background colour which is the matte area around the outside. So this is the matte area around here, we want to be black. So click on that and change it to black. The graphics block area as you can see also needs to be black, so that's already set to black. And we're going to create one key line border in white and we'll make it a little bit thick and apply changes. Okay, so we're just verifying that everything's black with a white key line. That's going to duplicate this one and make our one now our one for the one with the background image. So in this case, we're going to have a white matte background. So change that to white. We're going to put an image on the graphics block. I'll just choose something from Marcy's great collection. Um, a bit lighter, maybe. Try that and our key line in this case is going to be black. Actually that's not black, this one's black. Okay, save that, close. Now, go into working with layouts, find our new 9up special template, select some of Julia's wonderful images of her son Dean, this is Dean Kelleher, uh, I'll select nine of those. There we go. Just use the auto populate feature in ProSelect to drop them all in. Maybe we'll swap a few around. Uh, like that. We can hold the Alt Option key down to 
adjust the cropping without going into cropping view okay that looks pretty good now we just apply our style so let's apply the first style first which was the 9up special black there you have it we could put a frame on that say a small black frame and there's the result if I wanted to have a look at the other one I could duplicate this duplicate with the same images yes and then change the style on this one to the one with the image in the background and the white border there it is so there's our our two resulting templates Kelly and of course we could put them on a wall and pro select and see how they looked uh, make them a bit bigger because they're scalable to any size uh, probably I like this one here so I'll get rid of that one with the delete key and set that up and there it is overall size of 40 by 40 hope that answers your question Kelly